Hi guys, and today we're going to be making an extremely simple aircraft that uses the Magnus effect to fly. All you're going to need is scissors, paper, and a glue stick. And some, some skills. But you don't really need skills for this, I guess. But anyway, let's get started. First, you're going to cut out about, I already cut it a little bit here. First, you're going to cut out maybe an inch and a half. Of, pe of paper all the all across down here like that about the width of three fingernails if I uh, now I have a big hand for my size I'm only four foot and I have like the biggest hand in my class and I'm in sixth grade but yeah and you're going to cut out the same exact thing. This one may be a little bigger. Might be. Might be. Centimeter bigger maybe. Alright, now you have your two strips of paper. Now, here's where the glue comes in. Now you're going to glue. Top. Right here. In this area and in this area. Now, you take the second strip of paper and put it, apply it to the glue, where the glue was. Now you're almost done. Like I said, this aircraft is extremely simple. Now, you're going to bend it in a shape. Don't fold it. Like, don't crease it right here. Just bend it a little bit. Now, we're going to see how this flies. It uses the Magnus effect to fly, so it spins. It spins backwards. And by the way, it is moving forward at a pretty decent speed. And if you drop it from a high height, it can it can fly for a pretty long time. Now, is this one of the planes where you where you get a book and stuff and fly? It actually is. You just spin it. And have a book under it while it's spinning while running, and it'll just stay like that. It'll just keep spinning. You can look it up. It's very cool. See you next time, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe the video. And see you next time.